everybody welcome back to the channel this is mystic waters and today we are playing private lessons what a private lessons who a private lessons what a private lessons who on episode choose your story your private lessons has been so good <laughs> let's read the description Okay, it's the day of your big interview and nothing will get in your way. That's until Adrian turns up and you realize not only is she hot, but she's serious competition. Oh Lord, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, I forgot mama done caught us coming back in the house. Okay, prepare, prepare. Oh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care, you guys. Okay, all right, all right. Young lady. You better have a good explanation for why you're home so late. I, uh, I was with a friend. I was studying. I don't have a good, say I was studying, uh, mom, like, oh, I see what's going on. You were studying at Emma's, weren't you? Mom, we are not even dating anymore. Wait, what? Maybe if you talked more with me about me and not only about Harvard and my grades, you would have known that we broke up at my birthday party. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. But that doesn't explain where you were. It's a long story. Can we talk about it tomorrow? Fine, but you're grounded. Your interview with Harvard is coming up soon and you need to focus. Focus, girl, focus. Focus, girl, focus. Focus, girl, focus. <laughs> and I'm grounded for who knows how long. What about parties, dances, prom? Don't worry, Bella. I'll find a way out. So... You didn't really tell me what happened yesterday between you and Adrian. Well, I think we're getting closer. I think we're becoming friends. Like, we getting closer and closer and closer. Oh my God, I totally called it. What you talking over there to? And why you talking to her? Are you staring at Adrian? She noticed. Yes, I was. Uh-huh. So what? She drove Rose to school today. Wait. What? Is she wearing the same outfit from last night? Did they? Well, Rose was the last one to get dropped home. No, she couldn't. Maybe her washing machine was just broken. Or she stayed at her house for the night. <sighs> Y'all, is that what happened? I cannot, okay? Hey, uh, Kai? Hey, girl, didn't see you there. What do you want, Adrian? I thought we could be lab partners. Seems to me you already have someone else to work with. Are you serious? I already have a lab partner. Why don't you go work with Rose? <laughs> Can we talk about this somewhere in private, please? I don't think there's anything to discuss. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all. Jerk. I need to focus. I've been waiting for this moment all day year i need to have the perfect outfit to nail this interview let's see the options who are we going to pick an outfit pick an outfit pick it pick pick pick, pick an outfit okay this suit definitely makes me look professional and makes me feel more confident yeah we're not wearing that y'all already know Ooh, this outfit makes me look smart and sexy i really like this one though let's do this one yes i'm going to make a great first impression in this i know i'm so proud of you kai i wish i could drop you off to your interview but i have to case wait i have a case to run off to mom you've already done so much for me you've taught me everything to be the best law student i could have to be I know I read that completely wrong. Anyway, my little lawyer. Are you sure you'll be able to make it in time? The bus isn't exactly reliable. I'm sure it'll be fine. Good morning, Miss Thompson. Good morning, Adrian. Who's she trying to impress with that outfit? <laughs> you look beautiful as always, Miss Thompson. Oh, Adrian, you're such a tarmer. I said tarmer. <laughs> so what's with the outfit? You look hilarious. You look... You actually look good. It's not your usual style. Well, you look amazing. I had to dress up for my important meeting at the city center. We're going to the same place? Ask her to drive you, ask about the meeting. I'm gonna ask about the meeting. What kind of important meeting? Something I can't be late for. Cryptic. Need a ride, Kai? 
That would be lovely. I'm afraid my little girl's going to miss her pointer if she takes the bus. Well, we can't let that happen. Riding with Adrian, this would be a good chance to figure out what's going on between us. I could use the ride if it's not too much trouble, Adrian. If it'll help you, nothing's too much trouble for me. I couldn't help but feel that spark between us again. I needed to get to the interview and I couldn't help wanting to be with Adrian. Sounds like a perfect plan then. Of course I'm a ride with Adrian, you are. Fine, I better not be late. You have my word, Kai. Ooh. So what kind of appointment is this? A very important one. Some of us care about school, Adrian. Hey, I care about school too, Birdie. Oh, I know you do. I know you do. It's why you broke into schools and stole the answers. Exactly. Listen, about Rose. Please, Adrian. I, I get what's going on between you two. I'm not sure you do. What you and I had was, yeah, something hot. I still can't stop thinking about you. It was, I'm going to say hot. Just be honest. What we had was hot, but it doesn't change that you spent the night with Rose after that. Kai, it's not what it looks like. So what happened then? The thing is, I can't tell you what happened. How convenient. Seriously, Kai, Rose stayed at my house, but nothing happened between us. We are not dating, and if you want me to forgive you, you have to earn it. I don't even know if I can trust you. Maybe one day we can be more than this. And if you want me to forgive you, you'll have to earn it. I'm going to do my best, Kai. Mm -hmm. Earn a girl, earn it. Good morning, Miss Cooper. Miss Thompson, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. And I appreciate that you're here early. I wouldn't dare to be late for this interview. I'm glad you are taking it so seriously. Of course, shall we begin? And can I just say I love your bag? Or should I say Harvard has been my dream since I was a I'm gonna say it, it's been my dream since I was a child. I wouldn't dream of not taking this seriously. I'm glad to hear that. I'm sure you're anxious to begin. We're just waiting for one more applicant. Excuse me? I'm here to review the two best applicants from your school today. Who's the second best applicant? Miss Cooper. Oh, you must be Miss Reeves. Adrian? Kai? You're the other applicant? Oh, lovely. You two already know each other. Yes. Y'all. So why didn't the committee warn us that was a group interview? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Honestly, this was a special situation. Miss Reeves, your football skills have been very impressive and your recent rise in grades caught our attention. Well, I can thank Miss Thompson here. Oh, really? Kai had, was kind enough to help me with studying. She's complimenting me? Should I compliment her or take the credit to help myself? Hmm, try to do both. I did tutor her, but Adrian is intelligent. She does well in class when she applies herself. It's so nice to hear you complimenting your main competition. <laughs> main competition? You mean we both won't be, be getting accepted? Unfortunately, no. We only have one spot left. What? How is that possible? I told you this was an unusual situation. We actually already have everyone else figured out, but the choice between you two was too difficult. So why are we really here? I want to bring in the best student. And right now you two are tied. So how are you going to decide? I want to see someone who can show me leadership and passion for their school. What else could we possibly do? I'm a new football captain. Does that help? Quick, I need to make something look good. What about tutoring football captains, being raised by a lawyer, being in a debate class? <laughs> tutoring? <laughs> what about tutoring football captains? They'd be lost without me. <laughs> Listen, we're here to figure this out together. Hmm. I see neither of you have run for school president, and that's what I want to see. I'll be giving my formal recommendation to the student who wins your school's election for class president. What? Oh, Lord, now we got to run for school president, y'all. Oh. oh, I got to go take this call. Sorry. The outfit cute, though, girl. But anyway, what we going to do, y'all? You didn't tell me you were interviewing for Harvard today. You didn't tell me either. Come on, Adrian. She must be serious about school if we're really tied for the spot. Maybe I've been too harsh on her. I can respect the effort she's put into her schoolwork, but I'm not going to give up that easy. I need to convince her to let me win student president. Offer a trade. How about a trade? Let me be the president and I'll go on a date with you. That's a tempting offer, but I think I can be president and get a date with you. You don't understand I have to get into Harvard Law School. You think I don't have dreams too? 
I don't play the rules like you, but I still want to succeed. You seem pretty sure you're already going to win because you'll be easy to distract. Adrian put her hand on my knee and squeezed it. I hated to admit it, but she was good. One little touch and I was almost ready to forget our rivalry. Almost. Oh, you think so, Miss Reeves? I put my hand on her knee and slightly tapped my fingers, moving on her inner thigh. So how get so who gets distracted easily now? See? Damn it, I did not expect that from her. You won't beat me, Thompson. I played dirty Kai. Even though it was becoming obvious we would have to fight tooth and nail to make into Harvard, she could watch me or she could match me at my level and I knew we were both feeling the same attraction. I wanted to lean in and kiss her, but I wasn't going to let her steal my dream school. You're not the only one who can play dirty. <laughs> you have no idea what I can do. I've got you beat Reeves. Bring it on, Thompson. I'll show her, tease Adrian and drive her crazy. <laughs> I know I'll make her an offer she can't refuse. So if I offered you to go to a bathroom to talk in private, you would refuse. You can't deny that we have something between us. But you know what? I'm just going to stay in your dreams. I can play dirty too if needed. I took a bite of a strawberry covered in chocolate and licked the topping of my lip in a showy way. I could tell I got to her. <laughs> Sorry about that call. Oh, it's no problem at all. Yeah, we're both so excited for this opportunity. You two seem to have some serious chemistry. No way. I see. Well, may the best student win. May the best student win. We're going to win, you guys. We cannot have Adrian distract us. What the? What happened? Got something more interesting than your books? Oh, I ain't paying for no picture, girl. No no your turn maybe one day but not tonight <laughs> scared you will not manipulate me adrian then why are you still enjoying the view i am not even looking at you why not don't you want to see me shirtless you literally wish more like it's your wish <laughs> oh my god girl what is happening what okay <laughs> what's she about to do i think i know how to make her melt oh lord <laughs> prepare to be blown away adrian reeves oh my gosh she gonna go crazy this will drive her wild you know we gotta do it y'all <laughs> you asked for it reeves <laughs> What she about to do? What she, what she about to do? What she about to do? Distracted much? <laughs> That's right. Ooh, yeah. huh, you are a player, Kai. Maybe I underestimated you. What do you mean? I can wear whatever I want in my room. My choice has nothing to do with you, sweetie. Of course. <laughs> or maybe I'm just distracting you so you won't be prepared for tomorrow's English exam. But then I'll need to ask you to tutor me English too. Many extra lessons, you know. And maybe you can wear that while we study. A big brain like yours can use your imagination because that is gonna be all you will ever get from me, girl. Keep telling yourself that, Birdie. But to be honest, I'm not in the mood for homework right now. Oh, why is that? <laughs> That's why. What? Y'all. Y'all. So I was right about them. Huh. Interesting. And me and Rose decided to throw a little private pool party. Way more fun than homework. Have fun. I'd invite you too, but as far as I heard, you're grounded. So I'll wave you from the pool. Rosie says hi. Oh my God, y'all. She plays dirty for real. She really plays dirty this half a year. Oh, she drives me crazy. We're not going. Do not be distracted, girl. Do not be distracted. 
a notification from Instagram. Oh my, me and my cutie, aka soon to be school's hottest president, hashtag Adrian for president, pool party at my house this Friday. Everyone is welcome. Oh, so you want a war, Adrian? Well, you have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh, it's war. It's war time, y'all. It's a war time. War time, y'all. She, she cannot. She cannot. We're going to win this. Do you hear me? We are going to win this and we're going to be happy and we're going to go to Harvard. <laughs> it's war. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And I will catch y'all on another one. Bye-bye.